So, uh, and I also believe you were the first man to compile a wind atlas. Tell us about that. Yes, that was uh, before I started my current business, G7 Renewable Energies. I compiled a mesoscale wind atlas of South Africa, the first kind of gapless wind map of the whole mm. country. Uh, it was published uh, as, as part of my PhD thesis in, in, in 2008, mm. and it identified you know, which are the hotspots around the country where there was a lot of wind. And it was based on that knowledge that um, we then commercialized um, G7 as a project developer and um, started developing projects in, in those very promising areas. So um, based on that, Rockefeller is in the Karoo. And I'm sure, myself included, people don't imagine the Karoo as being a particularly windy place. That we know it's sunny. That is correct. Yeah. That is correct. They were, uh, earlier, earlier um, <coughs> they sophisticated um, projects mapping the wind back back in the 90s and it just identified our coastlines mm. which is intuitive to be the windy yeah, areas but mm. actually it turns out that there are some very very windy spots in, in the Karoo as well which is which is quite exciting because there's a low population density and therefore less less of a visual impact mm -hmm. than what there would be if it's you put it up the west coast for example now wind versus solar is surely solar would be the better investment and then how does hydro fit into the whole renew renewable energy picture? So uh, all the renewable energy <coughs> technologies work in tandem. They all have their strengths and weaknesses. Mm -hmm. um, solar, for example, has a weakness of not producing anything in the evening after the sun goes down. Mm -hmm. Whereas wind typically peaks in the late afternoon, early evening hours. Okay. Um, contributing to the demand peak that ESCOM is often struggling mm -hmm. with so much. Um, the other difference at the moment still is, is cost. Um, wind has always been historically cheaper than, than solar and still is today. The gap is, is, is narrowing every year, but um, to give an idea, the round four wind projects averaged around 65 cents a kilowatt hour, whereas the solar projects averaged at 78 cents a kilowatt hour. Okay. So it is, it is more expensive, but they all have their pros and cons and they all have their place in the sun.